Hey there everyone, this is Al Cowbling Copy Kitty, and last time I did not complete the relay. I had to stop mid-relay. Treacherous Maze apparently levels so hard, even one of the creator like will die to it a few times in the hard mode, so that's fun. So well, prison break and we got three levels to do with Savan, ending with the uh, treacherous maze. We'll see how it compares. All right, Savant. Oh no, you were locked in, uh, according to the simulation game. Uh huh. I'm speaking to her as though I've been captured. Uh, oh! <laughs> oh! All right. Let's get cracking. So how is this going to go? I got drill that I need to equip. There you go. There you go. I did it. Drill equipped. Uh, all right. So, so that I mean, it starts off, you know, simple enough to get these friends, and now I know you're just kind of meant to ignore, and uh, I'm going to get hit in a very avoidable way. And, like this play, like I think it's neat. These all these invincible enemies, but you know, it's just oh juice. Do I want to switch to dimensional? Why would I ever not want to switch to dimensional whatever? Yeah, it's the whateverness that adds the flavor. All right, so I just release. Oh, it's Doggo! He's here. There we go. Woof. Woofle. Uh, woofle and friends. All right, there's like a whole bunch of guys here, just kind of chilling, just kind of hanging out. Well, I got their heart, so you know, no problem here. Do I want plasma? That's uh, a question everyone has to ask themselves at some point, right? Oh wait, I can do that relatively safe though. Yeah, see like, plasma has its use. It is, situationally, an incredible tool. It's just that I don't like using that tool. <laughs> oh, that's a key, you gotta destroy this thing, but I don't need a heart. Well, you know what? Maybe that's fine. Alright, so, see, this is where this thing is ridiculously good. It's when you can just kind of put it somewhere, and then you can just kind of like back off, and you're like, you know what, I'm enjoying life! How about you, little puppy that is filled with rainbows? How is life enjoyable to you? It's a mixed maximum, I'm a mama now. I'm very good with words, but I don't know if you knew. Alright, so maybe this is gonna be the theme here with Savant. Like, like similar to what happened with Plasma, with Force, you just kinda wanna put your thing somewhere, and then you kinda chill and you let things happen a little bit. Man, see, I'm looking at all these bars here, and it's just completely impossible to bypass this radar. I guess you just have... You are forced to trigger the alarm here. There are just no way around. I'm pretty sure I got just as bamboozled somehow in the... Um, when I was playing uh, in normal. Uh, although at that time... The defense. What? Oh shoot! I messed up. All right. Um. I can forget how to play. I don't suggest that. Wait. What button am I pressing to attack? Why are you not attacking? Good. Yeah. System crash. Why are you not? Why is it? Am I? Am I? Okay. I think I got confused by what buttons were what. Uh, that's super embarrassing. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, that's what happened. Like, I was trying to use a combo attack, but that's not how Savant works. And that's why nothing was coming out. Oh, that's... okay. Well, you know what? Maybe I can still make it work. It's the danger of playing these two characters back-to-back, you know, is they have very different rules and different control setups. Truly, the world is a world. Can I not just go right through you? Yeah, Savant can just kind of cheat if he wants to. Can I go right through with my peril circuit? Can I go right through with my attack probe? No, I have to go all around. Oh, what? Oh, I don't like that. Peril circuit is a little bit better for me. Yeah, yeah. So once again, we open up the world. All right. So up there's gonna be safe. Here we go. I'm 
just kind of let it happen. Oh, you okay? There we go. That was weird. That was all very weird. <laughs> I'm just completely forgetting how to play. It's very good. All right, treacherous maze. We get static and giggle static. <laughs> all right. I mean, however, now I know how this works, and I can just like get in there early. Which is something I could not do with a certain Boki. This could be a game changer, honestly. Because now I'm here. What happens if I try to strike things from this angle? Oh, I completely missed up what was obstacle and what was potential friend there. I'm good at this game <laughs> sometimes. Alright, uh, explode and bounce. Whoop, that's not. Explode and bounce, yo, nemesis. Nemesis, Nemesis. That's a good one. Look at that. Things just bouncing around, causing problems for everyone. It is a good time. Glimmer Blast is just a fantastic move. And the alarm were triggered somehow. Alright, well, maybe I can. Glim yeah, I could Glimmer Blast them out of my face, so that's good. Uh, I am going to run out of things soon. I am going to die, sure. Oh, wow, I didn't expect I'd die dashing into a lightning wall, but that is exactly what happened. I mean, I, I, I wonder if that's the way to go, but I think it might be. Because, I don't know, like, yeah, like, it wants you to end there. That's why there's that... Whoops, there's uh, that thing, that, that thing here. I don't know, so, here's the thing, like, what does radio do that is useful? It goes through things, but there is, like, a big chunky barrier everywhere. Alright, I'm out, that's fine, my good friend uh, X-Blaster is here to save the day. And I can go in here a little bit early. Alright, that could be useful, look at that, you know, taking care of problems, just get in there, put your X on the world, uh, and just let it fly. Oh, you want to destroy? Well, I want to destroy. Mutual friends of destruction. I was too late in getting that heart. It's a little unfortunate, but that's just the life we choose to live. <laughs> the life of not getting hearts in time. Yeah, the most important of life. Alright, I can't help but notice that I do have a target up there. Is it you? I was seeing that red arrow, you know, that red indication of, hey, you gotta destroy something here, alright, buddy? Otherwise, you're not doing it right, I guess. I don't know. Okay, uh, system crash, sure. Yeah, so this has been going, whoa, there was a fat, no, attack over there, buddy. This has been going a lot. No, I want, just, it's Supernova, the Reaper, it's fine. Supernova has been reaped. All right, there's you down there. Can I get? Can I aim you down? Doesn't look like it. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, well, can do it that way. And now I just have to target. Yeah, this was a lot easier with Savant. However, there's something I have to keep in mind, and that is that I have played this level yesterday. I know how the level works more, more, more than not. And, like, that is a big advantage. Oh, he's still frozen somehow. How- oh, right, gotta take care of that business. Uh, sure, machine gun. Let's machine- Machine gun everything. So, although, I can't help but notice how, like, I barely kind of touched a lot of the level. But again, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, I, I, the big reason why this went so well, I think, is not necessarily that, oh, well, Savant is good, is just better than, no, is that I do know how the level works. And that's gonna make a really, really big difference, obviously. There's a point in the game where I'm going to be switching things, where I'm gonna play levels first as Savant, and end as Boki, and it's going to be interesting. We're going to be able to test that theory, like if that's really just what's going on. 